Hi and welcome to another tutorial on game design in Play Canvas. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add sound to your game and um, so how to add different sound effects that you might want to play during the game or how to add background music that will play. Um, okay so just to give you an idea of what I've got in the scene I have a directional light, I have a box which is called ground and it has collision and a rigid body um, so I can walk around on top of it and not fall through it. I have another box as well which has collision and rigid body and I have a character which uh, a, a first person character with a camera attached and also a script for the first person movement. So um, that's in another tutorial first person movement or first person um, characters is in another tutorial not in this one but I just added it to this scene so that you can um, see um, or hear what it's like when you're near sounds and um, yeah just to test it out so you don't need to know how to do that yet I'm just going to go through sound in this tutorial okay so to add sound to your scene you go to add entity and then sound okay and then um, on the right hand side you'll see the uh, ent the sound entity and the sound component okay there's a few settings there that you can change like volume uh, pitch the maximum distance so how far away it can be heard from and then you'll have different slots and that's where you can add different audio clips okay so mp3 files for example so I have um, a couple of sound effects so firstly I need to upload these sounds to my game I have a song and I have like a queen sound effect as well like a game queen sound effect so I'm going to um, start with the song I'm going to drag that into my asset panel and it will start uploading. It might take a minute or two to upload. Um, and then what I can do is once that audio file has turned up here in my asset panel, I can just drag it on here to slot one. So it's using that sound file asset. Okay, so it's almost finished uploading. Once I've done that, there's some other things that I can change as well. So autoplay, if that's ticked, will allow um, the sound clip to start playing as soon as the game launches. Overlap will allow it to um, play, um, like sounds can play over the top of each other, or you can arrange them so that some sounds will play first and others afterwards. And then loop will allow the audio file to just keep repeating over and over again. So now the song has uploaded, song.mp3, I'm going to drag it over here onto this slot. And I'm going to check the box where it says autoplay and loop as well. So it will begin playing when the game loads and it will repeat. Okay, I'll launch the game. The sound is in the middle of the scene. And I'll launch the game. And so as soon as this game launches, as soon as I'm in the world, I should start he hearing this song. Okay, so it can take a little bit longer to load because there's now more assets in the scene. Okay, there we go. Okay, so notice that as soon as the game starts, the sound starts playing and you can hear it from everywhere. So I was moving around with my first person character, but I could still hear the song playing everywhere that I went. And it wouldn't matter how big your scene or your world was, you would still be able to hear it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, firstly you can attach sounds to different objects. So I'm going to attach the sound to this box. So I've got my sound here, I'll drag it onto the box. Okay, so now it's attached to that box. And what you can do is you can make it so that you can um, specify how far away you want to be from the object, from the sound. Um, before you stop hearing it. Okay, and to get that working we need to add another entity called the audio listener. And the audio listener, um, there, should, there can only be one audio listener in a scene, you can't have more than one audio listener, it just won't work. But the audio listener is kind of like your ears in the game, so it will hear the sounds. Um, now, because I've got a first person character that's moving around this world, it makes sense to add the audio listener or the ears onto that character. So wherever that character goes, it will be able to hear the sounds that are nearby. 
Okay, so when it when the um, character walks up to this box that has a sound attached to it, it should be able to hear that sound. And when it walks away, far enough away, um, it shouldn't be able to hear that anymore. There's one thing that we do need to change to get that to work though. We need to go to the sound. And um, what we can do is we can leave autoplay and loop on for this, but I'm going to change the distance. So how far away um, you have to be before you can no longer hear that sound. So it's a really big number. I'm going to change it to 10 and launch the game. Okay, so if you don't have an audio listener, you'll just be able to hear the sound everywhere in your game. Doesn't matter what you set the distance as, you'll be able to hear the sound from everywhere in your game. But once you add an audio listener, you are then able to specify where um, you can hear sounds and where you can't. So at the moment, I can't hear anything. But as I get closer, I should be able to start hearing the sound. There we go. Okay, so I actually have to get pretty close. And the closer I get to that object, which has the sound attached to it, the louder the sound gets. Just in case you can't hear it. So, and the further away I get, the um, quieter that sound gets. So I could change that value a little bit. I could increase it to maybe 50. That's the maximum distance. So now, I have to be pretty far away before I no longer hear it. So it's gradually getting quieter. And now I can't hear it anymore. But as I walk back, I can start to gradually hear it more and more and more until I'm really close and it's really loud. Okay, so I've added a sound effect there. Um, it's a background song. It's just a song in the background. Uh, what I could do now is I could go and add code. I could make a script. I could go and add code to control when I hear sound. So if there's different sound effects I only want to hear um, like when I press a certain button or when a certain event occurs, then I can add those sound effects and use code to start and stop sounds from playing. Okay, that's what we'll look at in another tutorial. So I'll make another tutorial um, on controlling sound with code. Okay, um, that's it for this tutorial. Look out for another tutorial on controlling sound with code. Um, but that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.